Shalom Back to Project Anonymous. In today's video, we're going to install some heated grips on my 2020 Z900. So stick around to see how we do it. My hands are so cold. Well, that's why we're doing heated grips. So I'm a daily commuter on my motorcycle. I go about 30 miles each way and temperatures can get as low as about 20 here. So I decided to get some heated grips and I saw some reviews on these Oxford uh, premium sports heated grips and they were pretty good. So I decided to pull the trigger and, and try them out. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take off of our stock grips and put on some heated grips that will hopefully help my commute. Well, they may help you, but still need some gloves. Yeah, you can wear some gloves. So this is our right side, so this is our throttle side. And it gives you a direct yeah. signaling. Left. So these are our controls. Our new handlebars are heated, so there's a metal coil that's inside that heats up with the using the battery of the motorcycle. So that'll be there. And then we have our controller unit. Turns on and off. There, and it connects to our cables in a hidden spot and then this connects power to the battery. Simple. We also have a mount here and we'll go on probably our mirror mount. A little pad and that's grip glue. And some zip ties. Always good to have zip ties. Keeps things nice and organized. Okay so what we need to do now is take off the old grips. So I've seen this done before. I've done it before on dirt bikes. I haven't done it before on this bike yet, so I'm not sure what kind of glue comes from the factory. Uh, but we're gonna use about 100 PSI of air. We're gonna use the air to dislodge the glue underneath the grip here to slide it off. Just like that, air. This is a six millimeter Allen key on a wrench socket. But you see here, this wire comes off. And on this side, it's not a big deal because or where this cord ends up, as long as it's not interfering with your controls because this side doesn't move. But on this side, we need to be very careful. We allow enough slack for the throttle to be turned. We gotta figure out the orientation. Make sense? Okay. I think right there is gonna be perfect. So just a dry fit. They are pretty tight. That's gonna be fun to get on. We're gonna put half of our grip glue on here. Okay, so I got the orientation where I wanted it. It doesn't interfere with my lever or my ability to press the controls. And 
I'll end up zip tying this cable back to the other cables behind there and it'll be out of sight to the throttle side. Just cleaning up some of the old grip glue off of this. So I can't put this where the factory intended it to go because that is where my mirror connects because they send you new hardware to stick it there. Well, I can move the phone now, but if I were to put it here, it would interfere with my mirror too much. So I can't put it here. So I'm trying to think of an alternate way to put it. I can either drill this hole out here and mount it here in the mirror somehow, or I can mount it to my phone mount here and then bend this bracket up, and I think that's the way I'm gonna go. So I'm checking clearance, because you wanna make sure you can go full lock in both directions. Looks like that's the way I'm gonna do it. So I need to take this bolt off, bolt this on, and bend this bracket a little bit. We're gonna take off some of these shrouds and lift up the tank, because we have to hide these wires underneath the tank. Riding all the wires and getting them hidden out of place and zip tied down. Um, I wanted to take advantage of this space right here that will be hidden underneath the gas tank. So it's all zip tied, zip tied down nicely. Uh, I did turn on the heated grips to make sure we had power to it. I didn't leave it on long enough to make sure we had heat to the grips, but I didn't want to do that without the, the engine running. And I didn't want to have the engine running with the gas tank up like that. So we're going to go ahead and um, get that strapped down and What's next? Let's go put the bike back together. We finally installed the grips. Yep, it wasn't.
wasn't that hard of a job, but obviously you saw how much we had to take apart just to get the tank up. But that's specific to this bike and your bike may be different. Uh, but so far, uh, they're a nice fit. They are tight uh, going on, uh, but everything tucks away nicely underneath the tank and shrouds. But we should probably try them out to make sure it was yeah, working. Yeah, let's go turn these things on and uh, see how hot they get. Yeah, let's go. Okay, now that we have them on, can we please dry them out? My hands are freezing. Let's turn it on. We filmed this over a year ago, so we apologize for the quality of this video. We just didn't get a chance to post it before the motorcycle season ended. So we're going to do a little review segment. So far, do you like the grips? I actually love them. They're really, really good. Have they lasted? Yeah, so they're really good quality. Uh, I haven't had to mess with them at all, and they work every single time I need them. Do they get warm enough, and how warm do they get? They actually get uncomfortably hot. So I oftentimes have to turn them down a little bit as I'm riding because it, it really does get hot. Now really, thanks so much for watching. Bye.